Hello Twin Flames and welcome to day 23 of the Divine Feminine Power Series. There's not that many cards left so let's tap in and see what you need to know. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're using the Divine Feminine, the Silence, the Power Messages and the Illumination deck and the Goddess cards. So what do we need to know please angels on this day? Do we want both of these out or one? Okay, they're giving me one, okay? What do we need to know, please, angels? Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> they're giving me a block throat chakra, so maybe you're worrying about communication today, wondering when it's going to come in, and the angels are reminding you it always comes in at the right time. So <clears throat> I do feel some throat chakra issues being healed today. And, you know, as I record this in real time, that came up in the daily twin flame reading too for the masculine, very powerful. So the energy around this day, then, what you need to know, this is for your journey, what you're going through, is remember that your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. What a beautiful message. So whatever's happening right now, if there's no communication, if you're in separation, if you're doubtful about things, if you're not sure what's happening, the angels are reassuring you the best is yet to come. It's not your final destination you will be together. And you're being reminded too that when you're in union, that's not your final destination either because we're always growing, we're always learning, we're always evolving. You know, it doesn't stop when you come into union and everything's happy ever after. We have more to do because we're always doing more. There's always more to do. There's always more to learn, more people to help, things to understand. So, if there's any confusion around you here, if you're not sure what's coming, just know the best is yet to come and that you are not alone. And the angels are letting you know that. So on your journey, you know, during especially the, the quiet times, the periods where we feel misunderstood or we're not sure what's coming because the unknown, you know, the future is unknown. It's that fear that you're not alone. The angels walk right by your side and Yesterday with the message, it was, ask the angels for help. I feel you. And I feel that you feel the angels. You feel the power of heaven comforting you, loving you, guiding you, supporting you, and directing you. You feel it. So you know you're not alone. You feel the power of your twin right by your side. You know it. And somewhere inside of you, deep within you, in all of you, you know that it's going to happen because you feel it. And the angels guide you through signs and synchronicities that show you constantly that you are not alone and there's nothing to fear. And that what matters is what you think. So along this journey, you'll get people coming in that try and tell you you're crazy. So maybe even your twin said that to you because people fear what they don't understand. So someone may have said you're crazy, move on, it's not real because they don't understand it. Or they understand it from their own level of awareness. The perception they have of this reality that you are living that makes no sense to them. And you are not alone. And this is when we get guided to channels like this one. Like-minded people, we start gaining answers. Because the angels guide us where we don't feel alone. So even though we get that support from heaven, we also sometimes need it in a physical way. We need someone to reassure us that it's going to be okay. That's why we have readings and, you know, we ask questions because the angels know that you need that support too. And the angels are saying to you today, remember, your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. It's going to be okay. We've got happy whatever. So this is a great message because when I channeled this, the angels are saying to you, this could be connected with a time, like a birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas time, Valentine's Day, an anniversary. Oh, well, happy whatever. You know, maybe they haven't responded to you. You know, you could have reached out to them on their birthday or you could have wished them a nice day and they're not responding and you're saying, oh, well, happy whatever. But the angels are saying to you, be happy whatever. Whatever's going on, whatever time of the day it is, whatever date it is, be happy, whatever, because this is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. You know, if you're angry today because they're not responding to you and it's your birthday or it's a special day or you need them, you know, they are letting you know that if they could be there for you, they would be there for you. 
maybe they don't want to hurt you they want to be able to give to you everything you give to them they don't want to fail you so the angel saying this is not your final destination you will share many happy whatevers together because the best is yet to come and you are enough and on this journey you know when they aren't responding to you during these happy times or you know whenever things are happening you learn that you are enough i am enough and you learn too sometimes through the dark times and that you know when you feel alone that you aren't alone and that you are enough so you learn that you are enough that you have everything you need right now inside of you to get what you want and they're giving me fear so we release fear about being enough we are valuable and the angels want you to know that, that you are valuable, you are strong and you are safe. And he says, as a result of knowing your worth and because you are unique, let go of dimming your light just to try and fit in. The need for approval from anyone else but yourself and comparing yourself to others. Who cares what people think? What matters is what you think. What matters is what you know. So you don't have to be anybody but you. You know, don't try and fit in with others because, you know, they don't understand you. Instead, be a leader. Shine bright, guide others, show the way, lead the way, guide the way because you are not alone. And on this journey as a divine family, we move away from people, toxic people, things that drag us down, people we once gelled with don't gel with us any longer because we are on a higher vibration so we do find that we have a lot of time within we do find that we are spending a lot of time by ourselves even if we are surrounded by others we do feel alone but it's how we find ourselves it's how we realize that we can be our own best friend and be our own support system and we are enough that we have enough that we are everything we will ever need and that's how you know that you are one with all things that you are energy that you are universal power, that you are source, that you are liquid light and love, that you are connected with everyone who's ever been, ever will be and ever is now because you are one with all things and you are part of the universe and that's your power and that you and your twin are forever connected, always one, always by each other's side. So trust in that love. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.